I V M. Some people think that Geek Foods is a show about technology, but it's not. It's actually about us nerds. But if you are a tech head, that's a term I just invented for you. Then you should definitely check out Shunya One, hosted by entrepreneur Shila Ditya. It's a roundtable discussion about all the tech things you can find in India every week. Check out the biggest headlines to dissect and discuss from tech, business, and the business of tech. That's Shunya One every week on the IVM Podcast app and anywhere you like to listen to podcasts. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Geek Fruit Podcast. My name is Tejas. I have Dinkar here today with me. Hello, nice to meet you. And I also have special guest Abhimanyu. Oh my god! What's up? How's it going? I'm so good. Abhimanyu, uh, you were on our episode last week also on our bulletin and you've decided to come back and I greatly appreciate it. It's amazing. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. magic. You sat around for a week while we uh, did a bunch of other stuff and yeah. then came back. Yeah, I'm amazing. Thank <laughs> you so much for taking the time out twice. <laughs> In your life to be here um, So today's episode uh, We've decided Because Abhimanyu uh, Is a big action fan Actually we're, we're all action fans We've decided to, to Oh we sh- Big action fan Oh no I love action <laughs> movies like, Yeah it's yeah? just like You know Might as well talk about <laughs> oh, it God, This episode has fallen apart <laughs> <laughs> Immediately It's uh, like we brought Abhimanyu on to elevate our show But we've dragged you down man <laughs> No I, I will say He's this. become one of us One second you guys watch Action movies We're I've all seen action, action movies I don't know if like I'm an action boys type dude Yeah of course Nobody's saying like yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah like, and I know that if you look at me It'd go like Yeah I mean clearly That's a dude into action gonna, and You know what I'm gonna do I'm yeah. gonna name a bunch of films And like throughout this episode And you're, you're gonna, gonna have watched them it. You've watched all yeah. of them I know I've watched them I don't know if this is my favorite oh, It's not actually, like We're not saying it has to be Your favorite genre I I, guess I mean, it's wildly second, entertaining. I, right? I just have so. to ask a question. What was your favorite film of 2018? I don't know. Was it Mission Impossible? It was Roma. What? Uh, it was 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So yeah, on that 2018 yeah. review, it was Mission said, Impossible. Yeah, yeah Mission so, Impossible. so I Correct. think I want to rest uh, my case. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Fine. All right. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm learning in about f- myself here. In fact, I feel like uh, this entire episode has been born out of the excellent news that there are going to be two more final yeah. Mission Impossible <laughs> movies. I feel like that's going to be the final ones because after that, they're like, wow, what are you doing? Yeah, I feel like this is all you talk about. Anymore, yeah. It's like you meet Tejas anywhere, and he's like, "So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything's cool." But, but there's again, two new Mission Impossible movies. Yeah. But then again, Liam Neeson is like my dad's age. Mom is like, oh, and he's still like, like, like that's, that's everything true. is fine. So Liam anyway. Neeson, if Liam Neeson can keep making action films, and he's up like father's age, this is a good segue. Then uh, Tom Cruise can definitely uh, continue making. But films. Liam Neeson's style of action is very different from Tom Cruise's style of action. Oh yes uh, Liam Neeson has stunt doubles <laughs> Exactly <laughs> And it's mostly him Shooting people But yeah. like cool Like and it's It's a lot of, it's about the gravitas Which I don't think Tom Cruise has So he has to do stunts it Does I haven't Tom seen Tom Cruise one is of never these. saving his family In like Mission Impossible is he? Oh, No he is saving his family His family lady. Is, That's no, no, his no. family No The IMF is his the family God <laughs> is his family dude uh, but, The family And the world But Liam Neeson I haven't seen any of his Newer Taken style guys Mm-hmm. Uh, the new You've not seen the uh, He's done all forms of transportation Have you not seen all those films? No Alright Let's list them out We're gonna start We're gonna open this episode With Liam Neeson And I all wanna right. say This is my theory mm. This is how Liam Neeson Began his career mm-hmm. And it is fitting That it came from a, From a movie Called Batman Begins This is my theory Yes There's one speech In Batman Begins correct, he, I mean correct. no He was a respected Dramatic actor before that yeah, he's, he's Oscar he, Schindler Exactly yeah. he, uh, he reinvented himself As an action star In his what 50s And here's why this is how I think it happened Okay Batman Begins Batman Begins yeah. They're sitting on the ice In uh, <laughs> When he's uh, training Yeah And uh, uh, the, You know Basically it's after the scene Where he's like You've never rode your mind your surroundings <laughs> And then he hits him in the phone Anyway so he's, he what tells dick He tells yeah. him you know Rub your You rub your You know your chest yeah, Your arms yeah. and take care of yourselves Blah 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 And then he's like So what the f*** happened man What happened to your family and stuff yeah. And he's just like I too had a family once They were And then deadpan into camera <laughs> Taken <from> <laughs> Those are the exact lines Alright yeah, yeah, Those yeah. are the exact and lines yeah. And Some somewhere Luc Besson was watching yeah, yeah. it And he was just like Your family was what again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Boom Taken. 
Taken. Taken. <laughs> and then he it's just like played in Luke Besson's mind, like yeah. over again, taken, taken, taken. <laughs> and he's just like rubbing it. I chest. have the greatest idea. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. But, but yeah, so Liam Neeson started off with that first taken yeah. film. Man. Um man, it still h- holds up, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a cool movie. It's and a then, it's a hotel room uh, movie now. And then Denzel stepped up. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, but I don't know if Liam Neeson led the way for the older generation did. of. Uh, I, I think, think I would say did. Amitabh Bachchan did that. Right, <laughs> so right. when Amitabh Bachchan uh, turned like fifty, okay, and I remember watching this in the nineties mm-hmm. when he released uh, this movie called Mrityu Dand or something like that, yeah, and yeah. he was still playing an action hero in his fifties, and then um, basically no other actor in Bollywood. Had played a leading man mm. after a certain age. They either retire or they play dads and stuff. But you couldn't. The industry couldn't allow Amitabh Bachchan to be an, a father. So they Didn't kept. Sab. Yeah. So they kept making roles for him. Yeah. And they kept doing that. And that's how he kind of. He. I mean, yeah. uh, male leads have been introducing women like. Yeah. Three times younger than I mean, he's still sort of doing it like in Thugs of Hindustan. Yeah. He's, Thugs yeah. of Hindustan, combat, he's an right? action dude. He's yeah. an action dude. Yeah. Yeah. He actually looks cool. Like, he could, he's, he's like a. He's turned into a Dumbledore. Yeah. Yes. Uh, ish character. I think like, or, uh, uh, when he leaned into being an older guy who could do action, which is what Liam Neeson does as well. Yes. Uh, that's worked well for him. Yeah. Mithil Dunn was a famously terrible yeah. movie. Oh, all of it is. Anything with Mithil <laughs> in the beginning. And that, yeah, man. Uh, like, Suri Vansham is a great Suri movie. Suri is great. Yeah. That's true. But, okay, so my point is similarly to Amitabh Bachchan, this is my connection here. Yeah. Um, giving older men leading roles. Mm. Uh, satisfies two things One is Audiences Audiences Like yeah. my dad yeah. like, Okay there are two things My dad loves watching Okay one is seeing Somebody <laughs> his age Be an action star Okay yeah. The yeah. second thing is Like Godzilla movies man yeah. Like every time A Godzilla, Godzilla movie the coolest dude. It doesn't matter Whether he's watching All the series Like of films Like you know Like any of the Continuity nothing My dad and his brother Would be like Hey Godzilla film Has come on We have to go with Godzilla <laughs> So that's how it works And similarly Like for I think that's what Everyone saw Like mm. Uh they see these old guys in action You know what? Boys. How old was Harrison Ford in The Fugitive? He was like he must have been 40s, 40, 50 yeah. something. Like, Aram yeah. Say. Is that an action film? The Fugitive? Yeah, yeah it's right. Yeah, it's and a, he's like it's a, a, he's an chase he's a doctor in his late 40s, whatever. Yeah. So. I think he Richard might have Kimball. like started it's something. still a great you know? movie. It's a great movie. I love movie. that film. I love that it. and yeah. uh, Criminal, the <laughs> Indian remake with Nagarjuna. <laughs> oh my God. And why do you know it? Correct. That's from That's from Criminal, no? Oh. If I'm not not, tu hi re, dude, is from Bombay. Tu hi re is from Bombay. Yeah. Tu mile is from Criminal. Wait, is it the like, same movie? Tu he, same, uh, same song? No, they're different songs. Oh, okay, I just. <laughs> uh, tu mile starts with a lady sing going. It for, like, why don't you sing it for us? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's the same song. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Tu hi re goes like tu hi re. I just sang it. No, at a wedding. Yeah, you're right. It's a perfect wedding. You're song. right. I did sing it earlier. Tuhire is Hari Haran. Ah, in correct. Bombay. And this one is uh, S B Balasubramaniam. I Boom. feel like it is S B Balasubramaniam. <laughs> I won this Bollywood game. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Literally the exact same movie, Criminal, like scene to scene remake. And I saw Criminal first. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Then I watched the Fusion, and I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> this is how I heard uh, Zombie also for the first time by the Cranberries. You I just heard, heard it in a college cover. I heard, yeah, I heard it as a cover, oh, wow. and I learned how to play it before I actually heard the original song, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. And then I was right. <laughs> That's fantastic. But here's the other thing. Um, I Why? Th- uh, sorry. I feel like we should spend this time to talk about old action, like basically old people mm. who are action stars. Currently. I'll tell you. Okay. Here's my theory. Mm. They do it now a lot because these guys are the uh, they're the guys who are the symbols of action hero mm. stars in the 80s and 90s, right? Yes. Like your Arnold Schwarzenegger's, your Sylvester Stallone's. That genre was big back then because, because that's what no, people loved. There was not that many sci-fi or VFX capable mm. studios to do that kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Plus, I yeah. think that that was just a style of filmmaking at the time, right? Like a little slightly generic plot but still cool action. Like yeah. Yeah. Steven Seagal, John yeah, Claude Van Damme, like freaking <laughs> Jet Li and Jackie Chan. They all had careers on movies which are essentially just variations on one theme right yeah. like Jackie Chan does martial arts good let's make 8 movies and then yeah. no and then they reinvented him when he said he do martial arts good with comedy yeah. he funny and he did jokes yeah, yeah yeah I mean it was part of a racist theater because the way he speaks is quite funny if you're just like listening to him because you know it was like this broken that's English that's what they do in uh, Russia yeah exactly the Russia films an action yeah. movie I have seen Yes, mm. action movie, right? You've Does seen it count as yeah. action movie? Yeah, of course. Straight up, your action film. Yeah, I think nowadays, like the studios are looking for sequels, so they're like, you know what? Is there a new Russia? I'm sure. There's I'm one sure there is. Wait, yeah. was Russia Brett Ratner? Uh, it was. It was Brett. And Ratner. he's turned out to be an asshole, right? And uh, yeah, he has. It's so Steven Seagal, by the way. 
Do you uh, wait? Steven yeah. Seagal. Steven Seagal is. Yeah. I mean, he was an asshole anyway. He's you know like why? A, he's you, a right wing nut job, and he was uh, and called he, out in the Me Too thing. And he has a terrible blues band. By the way, he plays a lot of guitar. <laughs> I think. I mean, I saw one Steven Seagal movie because this is the kind of movie mm. that you would rent on VHS. Uh, is it Under yeah. Siege? I no. I, I forget uh, what. Every single Steven Seagal movie is one of those. I saw one, and I was like. Why is this guy a thing? You know what? What my favorite Steven Seagal thing is is in Johnny Bravo, the cartoon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Johnny's favorite action hero is a character named Squint Ringo. Have you seen this? And it's a it's a spoof on on, on Steven, Steven Seagal. And basically, he he looks up to this guy, and then he finds out that he's a fraud. Like, he's, yeah, like he doesn't yeah, do any of yeah. his own stunts, nothing like that, which is hilarious. I love to see uh, Jeff Squid. Bridges in uh, an action movie. Jeff Bridges, yeah. This is. Can you a, imagine him in an action movie? He's an Iron Man. Uh, yeah, Tron? Tron true. is not action, is yeah. it? It's yeah, it's more yeah, it's a, sci-fi. But he does like jump yeah. up and run he around. Has no a bunch. Ba- he has like a country band, yeah. so like if it could be like a country <laughs> the action abiders, hero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Bridges is like if Steven Seagal was cool. <laughs> uh, let's not do that to okay. Jeff Bridges. Yeah, I know. <laughs> let's that's, not do that's that to pushing Jeff it. Okay, okay, but I want to uh, talk about Taken. Have you guys seen all the Taken? The Johnny Bravo parody reminds me though that. Shows how popular action heroes were in the '90s and 2000s, right? Like uh, the Simpsons had a Schwarzenegger parody, Troy McClure. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who right? then becomes the president? Who then becomes the yeah. president? Oh no, no. Actually, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger becomes the president uh, in the movie Simpsons and movie. And Troy McClure is a thing. Oh yes. And yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and Tough then guy, right? when they were like, uh, "What did? What do we do with uh, Springfield, Mr. President?" And he was just, and they give him like five options. These are five options. We did, we don't know what to do. And he's like, "I was elected to lead, not, not to lead." lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. hey dude. Who was pretty much just a bodybuilder who couldn't act, could not speak English yeah. without yeah. a very heavy accent, yeah. Yeah. was a bona fide movie star. Yeah. That shows you Man's how popular. Got yeah. yeah, and that shows you how popular that kind of movie was in the eighties, right? Yeah. And now when they come back, that same older audience, like our dads, are going to go like, "Yeah, let's go watch this." Man, I was wa- Arnold punches a Godzilla. <laughs> my favorite movie. Yeah. Oh my god, I would, I would also watch that. Yeah. Just saying. She went a little meta with the last action here, right? So the really cool thing about uh, last action here, I like, is that he, uh, he plays yeah. uh, a character from a film like he doesn't really exist and there's one really cool scene where he brings Arnold back into the real world right if you guys remember the film Mm -hmm. and they go to like a a blockbuster or a video store and they see a poster for Terminator 2 Judgment Day you've seen the one where he's on the bike and he's just looking he's got the red eye except it's Sylvester Stallone who's in that and I found that so funny when I saw it it was like really well done and you know they make fun of the whole thing that in Hollywood films like every number is 555 something something something. so they they spoof a ton of like yeah it is quite meta for for the time that it came out I suppose Nice. But so, so there's these types of films Right Like the Expendables Where they bring back All these old guys But I wanted to talk about Liam Neeson's uh, Transportation series This is an okay. unofficial Wait, We didn't even Actually talk about Taken Yeah, which, yeah. Uh, well, Taken is I, a, I led us is on a good. bit of a digression No Taken is digression. good Digression I think it still holds up I think the first mm. two films Are fine yeah. uh, The third one This Not style it's invented Though yeah. Of the uh, Let's make it Stuff seem like getting it's taken in, Away yeah. from someone Yeah It, it became style? <laughs> yeah, it's a genre Pretty now, much. right? No it's, yeah. no, it's not. Like a revenge action film. Yeah, like a Taken yeah. style. Well, movie. John Wick. I mean, if you had seen it, then Kar, you would know. I know. Um, I should. I should excuse myself from this episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. So John Wick Three <laughs> is coming out, and it's we just saw the trailer. Trailer, trailer wow. I believe. Yeah, I want to talk about like current action films, like yeah. in another segment. But okay. Right now, I think Liam Neeson. Taken, ha- I think is fine. I just can't like. I watched it. I've seen bits of it so many times at this point. It's always on yeah. like. Yeah, it's always kind of movie you'd have on DVD in like university. It's a hotel right? room. Yeah, scene. it's a hotel room movie, yeah. man. Yeah. I, I, so he did the Taken series. Then uh, and run this with me. Then he did Run All Night, which is I actually like first, that film. It, yeah, it's got Joel Kinnaman in it, and he's right. trying to protect his family. Of course, um, that one shot when he shoots the cop. Yeah, it's he, so oh good. <laughs> so he doesn't want Joel Kinnaman to be an assassin yeah. like his father. Uh-huh. Um, um, and so there's this one scene where he's in trouble. Basically, he's making that, and he has to run all night mm-hmm. um, away. And the whole thing is done one night. Do and all of these movies have a scene where he dramatically says the title? A dead Pan Camera. I don't think he yeah, says run all night in, yeah, in the film. You I have to it. run all night. <laughs> no, no. no uh, but uh, there's a really cool scene when it's then the trailer as well. Like we, Je- Joel Kim is about to shoot somebody, and he stops him, and he shoots him. Yeah, like, so he totally just wants shit. to take the onus of it. So, yeah. so that one's there. Uh, he did uh, Unstoppable. No, that's the another. One that's airplane, a, that's a right? Denzel Washington no, on a train. Which is one of the airplane? Uh, that is non-stop. Un- non-stop. Non-stop. Sorry, right? Non-stop. Oh another great 
Scanner. <laughs> there is Never one heard. scene in that. Uh, <laughs> You're telling me Liam Neeson has planes, trains, and automobiles. Yes, yes he, he does. All. He's okay. done it all, and he's done on foot also, where he runs all night. Um, <laughs> of and, uh, so, so he does this. Uh, he's on a plane, and the final, the penultimate scene. I'm sorry, we just have to talk about it. Of the course. plane is crashing. <laughs> yeah. There's a villain there. He's about to shoot him, and his gun is on the ground. But the plane goes so fast, like downwards, yeah. it creates a zero gravity situation. The plane, <laughs> and the gun flies up from the floor. Oh. I love Liam Neeson yes. does a flip, grabs it, and shoots them. Shoots, shoots like the Matrix. The guy. It's yeah. f***ing incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 then there is the commuter. <laughs> oh yeah, which is I'm, on a train. I'm sure his PR people are listening. What is the he's commuter done trains, doing? Like he takes a he's bus. done planes. <laughs> he's ran all night. What can he do next? See, space. He hasn't been to space, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, a but boat. That, a boat. A bo- oh, See, yeah. the thing is that he can't do speed. The speed has been done by yeah. Keanu Reeves. So, so what does he do in the commuter? Like, what? what it's is on a train, and he finds a dead body on the train, and he has to do something with it. Uh, the transporter, kind of like is Jason Statham, where he's like a drug mule. Type that, yeah, he's right? a mule, in okay, that, but yeah. like, uh, or like a uh, yeah. Uh, like he he sends over illegal cargo. The only, rule, the only two rules, yeah, he can't open the box. And there's something yeah, else. It's, but it's got some Hitchcock. We've got to talk about Jason Statham, yeah. but we'll we got yeah, we got to talk about Jason Statham. But he's still. I want to include him in the yeah. in the current action. Yeah. yeah. So then we got to go 90s. Okay. Yeah. Come on, bro. So 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 just to end, <laughs> Liam is. You know who else tried to do the uh, the the old guy action thing? Pierce Brosnan. He did one movie called The November in Man. Bond? Okay. Oh yeah. No, the James Bond is when is when he was uh, young. Does James That's Bond count like as action? No, it's spy thriller. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, okay, cool. Correct. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so he does this movie called The November Man. Mm-hmm. Not good. No? <laughs> no, not not at all good. So he tried it. Didn't Hugh Grant, old- Hugh Grant try to do an action film? Shut like a thrill film. Yeah, he tried it once. No. I think he said on the actor's studio and it, no, it just he's didn't done, work. He's done Cloud Atlas, which what has him in a... Is that going to be? He's going to like leap through three burning like, buses uh, and, and, and then apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did that. <laughs> I love how all of us just launched into our Hugh Grant impressions <laughs> and they're all just variations of like oh, oh mama, mama. it's, it's a terrible uh, sorry uh, yeah it's absolutely appalling that yeah anyway but like, uh, he so jumped he did that. through the thing and then but just like, like adjust Hugh, his head a bit Hugh Grant's thing was uh, he had his own <laughs> round of things remember he did yeah. music and lyrics and yeah. then he did uh, what do you call the, the script movie where he was a script writer so he's done it oh, he's yeah. yeah he he's has doing the his writer thing, thing. Yeah. 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 yeah I feel like music and lyrics has the same set as that other film you like with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock in the in the, the little cabin, house. yeah, the lake house. No, it's like it's the same setting. No, it's not. I love the lake house though. Yeah. Don't trash that movie in front of me. It's got. It's it's like it's one the of the only sci-fi rom-com in existence. No, no, we've done a few. Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, cool that's cool. another episode. Yeah. In time. Hello. That's yeah, in great. time also Technically, mm. yes Alright, but we were talking about uh, Okay, who are the other Old, well, old on, crowd? No, you didn't even finish Your oh, yeah, Liam series What else is he So, done? okay, then he's no, done no, we're doing, uh, The Commuter Boston. No, no, okay. Piers Boston did One and Done okay. yeah. uh, Commuter, Run All Night um, Amongst the non-stop. Two Sounds Then he did this movie Called Unknown Which is where uh, he. It's actually a really good movie he's I haven't heard of, any of these yeah, Let's yeah. go It's Unknown yeah, <laughs> But uh, it's actually a good movie But yeah. it has nothing to do With any form of transportation Though there yes. are a few in it. Lame Yeah He's I got On that one He's got amnesia And he's trying to find out Who he is That's a good one That's why he's, he's unknown Spoiler. I have a special set of What was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah So that's Liam he's, he's also done some good movies <laughs> I love that I'm saying that Which is one with A, a, a walk oh, amongst tomb, tombstones. tombstones That's like a very serious Kind yeah, of uh, thr- thr- Like a film noir Kind yeah. of uh, A walk amongst tombstones? A walk amongst the tombstones My god I've totally so lost depressing. track Of what Liam okay, Neeson You does. don't understand Avion and I watch All this <laughs> trash Okay All the time The other person Who we just enjoy watching A lot of Is Denzel oh, all right? Denzel is just cool So, no, so Denzel stop. does the drama And he's just like Oh no, yeah So what you <laughs> And he's just like do. man of God. Man, he's like he's just a man of God. Uh, but he's uh, had his run of action as well. So he's done what we consider to be the premier action scene, <laughs> such as the Equalizer. Right? You'll find on a plane. Right. It's based yeah. on a it's based on a TV show. Uh, but in this movie, he equal, he equalizes. He man. just straight he up equalizes. equalizes I haven't seen the, <laughs> the yeah. Equalizer, out of but people. is it just it's Denzel walking around going like? Too much bass. No. <laughs> <laughs> he just sees no. something that's quite not right, and he's like, "You know what? <laughs> I need an equalizer." Time equalizer. equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> Give us okay. What is the equalizer about? Uh, so basically, Go. he's like an ex-military uh, guy or something. We don't like know. Like an ex-navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Navy, yeah. So and uh, and and basically, he's got a set of skills. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, basically, he's got a stopwatch. And he just very wa- important. He has, yeah, he's got a stopwatch, <laughs> yeah. right? I don't know why. We've never found the reason it's, for it's it. It's because he's timing himself how quickly he can take out people. But basically. that's why. It's that's like his own personal record. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
so cool, man. So, so, so he does this thing where um, he uh, he's just trying to live a, a calm yeah. life. That that's basically Denzel. All he wants <laughs> is a calm, peaceful life. Right? He just yeah. wants to be a man of God. He, yeah, and he just like sits be, in a cafe, you know, like reads. And what he reads what books? book does he? He's just always sense. reading books yeah. He's just trying to live a quiet life But shit goes wrong yeah. Around him That needs to be yeah. equalized And so in the first movie It's Chloe Grace Moritz uh, Who's basically You know in trouble And he just goes And equalizes the shit out of that mm. Then the second movie How is this a verb? Is uh, <laughs> I'm gonna equalize this thing Man it's so good It's like only fist pump moments Do you know Every time Yeah exactly I was just gonna say that <laughs> We just look for like Potential fist pump moments Basically where, That's Basically a moment Where Denzel does something like <laughs> And then does something amazing yeah. And then we're just like Oh Yeah <laughs> oh my god So that's yeah. basically this That's is, basically yeah. Is this our nerdy version Of sports games? I guess yes, it, it is, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so I think so uh, We're living for the fist bump Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and and so So yeah he just He's just been equalizing Since then Right Left And, we, right and, I, okay, so, and the guy who made the film Is Antoine uh, Fuqua The guy who made Training Day Right And a bunch of really good oh, He yeah. did uh, The Magnificent Seven as well Which mm. Denzel is in as well Right Um uh, the other cool thing about this is that he's made like a really cool series out of it, and we're really yeah, looking yeah, forward yeah, to the to, 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 for him to equalize a third time. Yeah, yeah. Second Equalizer. one's really good, actually. I really enjoyed the second. Man, one. the second one is is yeah. like surprisingly we were, good. We were watching him. We were obviously just went and thinking. So there you are know what? three, and there's a the fourth coming. No, out? no, there are two, and, okay. and so yeah. the ending of two, it's like man, it's like a standoff. It's just like a Mexican standoff. It was yeah. so good. Nice. Though. And we, were the, like, we were in the cinema. And we were just like nudging each other, going, "It's actually yeah. pretty good." Yeah, it's true. Impressed. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. So that's Denzel's thing. Who else is there, man? Who else is part of this? I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, we we've done Liam. Yeah. And we've done Denzel. So we've yeah. done the two Oscar-winning prestige actors yeah. who then decided, screw it. I'm a punch some shit. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I and yeah. I, I think we come yeah. back and we talk about. I want to talk about current films. Like okay. current action films I also want to talk about And okay, the 90s cool. Current Yeah let's do 90s And yeah. then current Because there's a bunch of guys Who are just action guys Like Arnold and Jason Statham And yeah, stuff Who yeah. we need to get into Let's do this yeah. And then maybe current stuff Alright On the other side of this break Hello everybody Welcome to another awesome week On the IVM Podcast Network Where IVM Podcast On Twitter, Facebook And Instagram You know we've been doing this For a couple of weeks And I think it's working out Quite well If you're enjoying the show That you're listening to Why don't you do this Pause the show Take a screenshot And post it to your Instagram stories Tag us on IVM Podcast And leave us a comment For what you think About the show That you're listening to We'll post that to our story So that you know I mean like everybody Can see what's going on Who's listening to what also, I have another little announcement. We are finally launching our new version of our Android app. It's going to be out officially and properly. It's going to move out of beta. So if you are listening to us on the old app, it might be time for you to kind of look for the new one. Unfortunately, it's not going to update from the old app. You're going to need to uh, re-download the app or reinstall the app from the new listing. You'll be able to get the new app. You'll get a link for that from either the show description of the show that you're listening to, or you could go to our website and there'll be a link over there. So we launched a new show called How to Citizen. It is hosted by policy professional Meghnath S. and comedian Shreyas Manohar. Every episode is a look back at a chapter from an 8th standard civics textbook. The first episode featuring Rohan Joshi is out now. As Cyrus says, Cyrus talks to author Amrita Mahale. She discusses her debut novel, Milk Teeth, and how growing up in the suburbs of Mumbai influenced her story. On Pesa Vesa, P.V. Subramaniam, a financial trainer who runs the popular blog Subramani.com, discusses the math of retirement planning. On the Republic Day special of Pulya Bazi, the hosts throw a light on the works of Dr. Ambedkar and discuss how caste has played a role in the history of India. On the second episode of Gold Gappa, Tripti is joined by actress Mansi Joshi. Mansi shares how working with some of the finest co-actors and directors helped her shape her acting talent. On our Kannada podcast, Thale Harate, the discussion is about the power of the Kannada consumer and their rights to demand services in their own language. And with that, let's get you back to your show. Hi, you're on the other side of that break. Nice, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're talking about 90s, uh, we're going to talk about 90s action films. Yeah. Boom, Keanu Reeves, Speed. Best. Hit me. Best one. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Speed is such a great movie. You, yeah. Has it aged well? That started well? that whole sort of countdown situation, yeah. right? Also, oh, like, that's it's such true. a unique yeah. idea, right? This bus is going to blow up if you go below. I mean, okay, something. unique <laughs> is, yeah, and like anything can be Who unique. Who did it before that? How many miles per, is it like 30? 60. 60, 60 right? Yeah, it's like a, what, what can a bus do anyway? 60 miles per hour. That's how they make it across the bridge which doesn't have a uh, center yeah. piece of it. Yeah. That's how they do it. Yeah. Was yeah. the second one a boat? Yeah, yeah, and it's got cruise that control. Act- they're man. both speed two cruise they're control. They're both in it. There's a boat, and nobody uh, knows who that actor is till date. <laughs> <laughs> who is that guy? I have oh. no idea. So it's not Keanu and uh, no, Sandra. It is Sandra. Sandra, but not Keanu. But no Keanu. Yeah. yeah. Which is weird, but anyway. Yeah, it is weird. It's yeah. like they ruined the thing, what but we can't yeah. ignore it that it exists. Yeah. You know, it's like Grease Two or something. Because yeah. <laughs> sure, it's called yeah. Cruise Control, which is just a cool name. Yeah, did they yeah. start that naming convention? 
Uh, name, number, colon, yeah. extra words. <laughs> <laughs> is Captain Phillips technically an action movie? It is. I think it's a but thriller. But it's, it's, like, it's a real life film like it happened. But it's Actual a thriller events. though. Yeah, it's more of mm. yeah, the... It's like, is Sully your... Oh my God, is that Tom Hanks' thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're like saving, a, saving the real transportation yeah, yeah. itself. Yeah. And Private Ryan. <laughs> Oh my! No, well, yeah. Saving Private Ryan, sure. Yeah. I mean, but saving shit, basically. Kind of an action movie, Saving Private Ryan. Oh, it's a, it's a in war it. film. Mm. Oh, well. It's a different. It's a war and drama. No action in war. Slash, yeah. slash right. comedy. Our rules here. <laughs> <laughs> Our rules here are: it's got to be, as Abhimanyu was said to be in the message yesterday, <laughs> straight up action. Straight up action. So, <laughs> so no war, no sci-fi. So we're, talk, we're talking about speed. Uh, speed. Mm. Straight that, up action. It, uh, tell me something. Does that movie hold up? Like, is it still good? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen it in a while, like but I feel like years. it would. Yeah. yeah. You I'm know sure what like. I love about that movie, though, is uh, uh, I, I love, I mean, Dennis Hopper, obviously, the ending is, it, it, the ending of Speed in the tunnel mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. very reminiscent of uh, of the first Mission Impossible ending. Uh, because it's also a train? Yeah, because there's a heli- helicopter and a and a train. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess. And this one is like a train. Oh, it's this one's a train, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. A train oh, yeah. and a tunnel. So you yeah, I keep forgetting mm-hmm. that there's a train in a bus movie. The 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 speed is about a train yeah. as well. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. In and I will say there's some shots. Didn't they in come the they must have come out pretty close to each other, right? Yeah, 1996. Oh, yeah. very possible. Yeah. Here's another thing. The ending shot of the train crashing reminds me a lot of Batman Begins. Because <laughs> <laughs> again, it's a train crashing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do so many action movies transport. feature transport? Because it's like a, it's a medium. Because you got to get somewhere. You know why? It's like, um, it, it, it sets the moment in that period of time. So yeah. there's only a finite. So And everybody loves that real time kind of thing. That's mm. why 24. And it gives you work. stakes, right? Like, yeah. stakes, like stakes. if the train blows up, a lot of innocent people are going to die. Yeah. Or like a lot of people are going to be late for work. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's unbreakable and everyone dies on the train apart from Bruce Willis. Yeah, that's the Correct. first. It's not a spoiler. It's all good. Yeah, I mean that's the premise of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, nineties uh, movies or eighties movies, uh, Die Hard. Of course, I can't can't uh, Idiot, avoid. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Die Hard. Is Bruce Willis a guy who went from action hero to prestige actor? He was on a movie uh, on a TV show first called Moonlighters. Moonlighting. He was a comedy Moonlighting. actor first. And yeah, then, that yeah. was a comedy. Yeah. That, yeah. When he had hair and all that jazz, yeah. and then and then he went straight to to movie. And I think then they to chose him. Harmonica. Yeah. Is, is this like, another thing? Do action heroes just go into blues? It's like Steven Seagal? Yeah. Uh, and uh, and Bruce Willis. And uh, Scott G. Patterson, the guy who plays Luke on uh, Gilmore Girls. Keanu has mm. a band. Yeah, Dogstar. What? Dogstar. Yeah, he plays bass. Oh, yep. wow. Man, like we needed to make Keanu Reeves even cooler. He had to like, play bass. He plays <laughs> bass. Even Gary Oldman. No, he gifted someone. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe yeah, plays yeah, yeah. bass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, we were talking about uh, even the Finn Wolfhard uh, uh-huh. also has this band called Calponia, <laughs> and just has a cool band. I guess. Uh, Jigs sent me Jishnu sent yeah. me a uh, Instagram post by Finn Wolfhard the other day where he was at a U two concert and we were oh, cool well man done. after our own heart. Nice, nice, cool nice. dude. Yeah. He's also on the new Carmen in San Diego, which is really good. Anyway, really? Um, coming back, action heroes. Action heroes. Okay. What are the other notable Bruce ones? Bruce Willis, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Steven Seagal Did Arnold Schwarzenegger ever do only Well I guess True Lies I is kind of like that Yeah because so he Terminator Okay he started still, out with Only action stuff right yeah. Like Conan the Barbarian Predator uh, Hercules in New York Rambo No wait Rambo Rambo Sylvester Sloan yeah, Sorry yeah. I was gonna get him well, uh, What is the other thing that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger did There was like Conan the Barbarian Yeah Terminator Predator, Terminator, Predator. is like sci-fi action So that's action, the thing though. So I think Arnold went more into the Into the science fiction Because he did that He did a lot of James Cameron stuff right hmm. um, He also did uh, Predator mm-hmm. uh, Which is again like science fiction mm-hmm. action kind of thing So I think he Maybe had a taste for that <laughs> <laughs> Arnie was just like this guy And he was like I kind of like science fiction You think fiction. Yeah. Alien versus Predator Yeah The Predator is also an alien that's true. Should be that's alien versus sci-fi. Alien. Well, that's technically, the technically alien is a predator. Film. It's a, it's a, exactly. It's an apex. So predator. it's either yeah. like, I mean, so alien versus predator. You always assumed it was the xenomorph versus the predator. What if it's the other way? That's and the subtext. The predator and alien. <laughs> that's and the, the alien subtext we didn't get in the movie. <laughs> but yes, um, okay, yes. Let's so, come back to uh, '90s movies. Or, Sylvester Stallone, who did uh, mm, Rambo, Rambo as you first, were first Blood. First Blood, yeah, yeah. Good. Mm. I really liked it. The two movies he did, which I really enjoyed. Another guy who's hmm. barely, I mean, Sly can't act. Have you seen Rambo? Uh, not Rambo. He, write, uh, he writes all these films. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, he's great in Rocky, but that's a very specific but kind of character. You, right? you wouldn't know because you've seen it. Yeah, but it's a, he's playing a very specific <laughs> kind of part. It's like how Seinfeld can play Seinfeld on Seinfeld, but uh, outside it, he's still going to be Seinfeld. That's Sly's true. always been yeah. Sly in whatever yeah. movie. He's, he's always in. been the, like Rocky. 
Yeah, like exactly. that's who he is. Yeah. It's like Harrison yeah. Ford playing any role. Correct. Yeah, it's all him. Yeah. Yeah. All the other characters are Harrison Ford, are not Harrison the other Ford. Way around. Um, but yeah, man, I think these guys. I mean, I remember the, when I was a kid, uh, it was so cool. Planet Hollywood opened up in Dubai, and I went mm-hmm. for the opening. And like, I saw all these guys, man. They all came down because Bruce Willis is an owner. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. Bruce, I saw Bruce, I saw Arnie, Cindy Crawford came, and boom! To prove my theory. Amitabh Bachchan was there. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, dude. Nice. Uh, Bruce, Ani, yeah. I don't think Sylvester Stallone came, but yeah, all these three guys came. Uh, it was it was solid. Give us your uh, like hot takes on these dudes, though. Arnold, anything? Uh, do you want to rank them? You? Rank them? Yeah. What do you want to get beaten up? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. But that's what the Expendables is essentially about, right? Yeah. I haven't them, seen right? one of those movies. I tried. It's not, not, it's Expendables? No. no, it's no, impossible. No. It's. I mean, just look at that. You know how that it's put together that cast thinking, wow, people are going to love this. Yeah. That did the exact opposite to me. I was no, like, I don't want to watch all of these no, guys no, but, together. But you know, but people went out and watched it. So this is the kind of testosterone heavy kind of yeah. film that I won't watch. Like this kind of action film. Was Commando, but, sorry, I totally Commando, just, yeah, yeah. Commando was Anish was yeah, John I Matrix. like that movie. That's a sick That's movie. That's a great dude. movie. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying people went and watched it? Yeah, people went. They made like sequels and shit out of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It was hugely popular with that certain kind of crowd that loves those yeah, things, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like... It's like the Godzilla versus King Kong of yeah. uh, yeah. things. Essentially, yeah. this is the the original of the the universe. I do want to bring up this one point though. Mm-hmm. This movie that came out recently called Simba. Okay, okay. and everybody With was two M's. Yes, and everybody was asking like, why is Rohit Shetty kind of? And this is what I've heard, and mm-hmm. this is and apparently it's such a super hit because of this reason because people saw this twist coming. Mm-hmm. And can you guess what it is? So Rohit He's Chetty, related to Singham. So Rohit Chetty made this film, and I looked at the post. I was like, literally the same effing movie again. But uh, so there's one point in the movie where he's isn't the premise hitting- of the movie that uh, Simba, like the Ranveer Singh's character, mm. is inspired by Singham. So it's not made clear But then there's one point In the movie Where he's getting beaten up And stuff And suddenly A f***ing jeep Bursts through somewhere And and Ajay Devgan Steps out yeah. And it's Singham Then Then Somebody else And then at the end It's uh, What's the other guy's People name People weren't surprised by this dude It oh. wasn't the first trailer No it Oh was the it The first trailer So the, the last shot Is this shot Oh, So apparently yeah. Like in the movie theatre That these guys went to Like nobody Like people hadn't seen the trailer I don't huh. know if people Are really no, into I trailers No I think they saw it But they were still pumped They were so mm. pumped And it's like Rohit Shetty universe Has begun man Yeah, yeah. Has there ever been a legit uh, Bollywood action movie yeah, of course. Alleged, like legit. Oh, like, like good. Um, uh, this movie like called Khaki, fit, which I really loved. I thought it was really good. It's a police movie. Kind of an action movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's really good. This uh, is interesting. Let me give this some thought. There must be good body And there's action. a really good action movie called Aankhe. Uh, oh God, what was that film watched? Is that? With Salman Khan. Uh, Salman Khan. Uh, What's that movie we saw? Race 3. Oh, yeah. Jirdwa. So bad. Oh, okay. No. Jirdwa, the original was good. The original was good. I don't good. know. I can't, I can't speak I for don't know 20 if it years from now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how racist or misogynist it is. Probably right now. pretty, but yeah. uh, wait, what were you talking about? Aankhe. You mean the one with Amitabh Bachchan? Where uh, yeah, it's, it's three, they're all three, blind? Three blind guys trying to rob a bank. And it's really good. Three good-to. blind guys. Try <laughs> anyway, but yeah, 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 good action movie. I think. I mean, it's a thriller more. Than yeah, action. it's more of a thriller. I can't we, like lose. I it. remember after Anke came out, and it's a really cool idea, right? So basically, most of the movie is mm. them uh, planning down to this the level of like eight steps this way, twelve steps mm. this way. That guy's gonna run That's in this kind of cool. Actually. It is really cool. cool. It's yeah. like it loses the plot after some point, yeah. but it till there. And really for the first time in history, I remember reading because I just realized how much Bollywood used to lift at that time. Uh, from Hollywood Hollywood option Aankhe to do a remake I'm not surprised oh, wow. It's actually from a Gujarati play Called Correct. Andalo something We can do cool stuff man mm. Yeah also the James Bond theme From India bro The James Bond theme what? from India Yeah what do you From mean? a Gujarati play again wow, What's what? all these Gujarati <laughs> plays right? Shut up Or a Bengali play Something like that Yeah That uh, I'm shaking uh, The The The, the It comes the I, don't, version, yeah. I don't believe him too. From like yeah, I okay. Don't see how so we'll, from, we'll take a break at some from point. From James Bay, uh, am I gonna? I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove that to you. Okay, <laughs> but um, come back to uh, <laughs> 90s action dudes. Uh, okay, give it like your thoughts on Arnold. Mm. I think Arnie, Arnie is definitely my favorite now. I, I think more out of retrospect mm. because uh, he did anyway movies that I preferred, like Terminator and stuff. Correct. But the other thing is that Arnie's turned into like quite a cool guy. He's I a, mean, like he's had his fair share of controversy. He's Chris father-in-law now. I know. Yeah. How Wait, about no? that? How about that? But he he has been dissing Trump on these very cool videos. Correct. And I think I, that's just yeah. really funny. And and I think mm. he was always like he's a bit of 
a nut job. The right? governor, like, yeah. Yeah, he's a bodybuilder who said, "I'm going to be a movie star and the governor of California," and he did it. That's that very famous story, right? He's saying uh, somebody, who, you know, mm. somebody told him that you have a weird name, weird, weird accent, weird body. And how will you ever make it in Hollywood? And like it was just like, oh, it. it's so good. <laughs> I want to talk about the greatest action movie of all time. Right I also now. liked Arnold because he did wait, a lot wait, wait, more wait. fun stuff afterwards, like Jingle All the Way and oh, like yeah. his, his comedy Love. stuff. Uh, kindergarten a, Cop. Kindergarten Cop, yeah. yeah. Uh, he did I'm the a, comedy action. I'm a hit you guys with a tagline. Okay. Try, and, try, and, try and guess what it is. All it's right. pretty easy, actually. Uh, I was okay. five miles up. The president of the United States is watching we're on terrorism face to face. Air Force One. Air Force One. Harrison Ford. Okay, great movie. I saw it recently again And I remember That's the first movie I saw in India ever really? In 1994 or something I saw it in the theatre With my uncle And we both laughed And laughed And it was so good Was it really bad? No I don't think it's great have, oh. It's still a good it's still movie good. Yeah. I feel like I've seen Bits of it It's but one of those TV movies again Kier right? Yelman No Playing as a Polish like, guy as oh, like like I, yeah. I've seen it on TV A bunch sure. of times The yeah. only thing That doesn't hold up In that movie Is that finally When Air Force One Does crash hmm? The graphics yes. are so poor Obviously yes. it's uh, But it's still It's the 90s good. isn't it? When, it when they're being Retrieved on, on that wire It just looks yeah. like That so does bad. remind me of Nicholas Cage's yo, Face yo, as an action star We'll get there, we'll get there. I, I was okay. just okay. going to say The greatest we'll action there. movie Of all time <laughs> Face Slash Off yeah. Face Off I think I'm we're going to talk More about Air Force One Face Off Con Air the, the Rock, rock. Yeah. I'm still not convinced Conair and The Rock Are different I movies I haven't seen The Rock I can't tell the difference Not seen The Rock? No. Oh my god It's too f***ing <laughs> good dude Like it's amazing The Rock is basically Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery Sh- yeah. Who yeah. thought That crossover would happen And Michael Bay did it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow Was Conair also <laughs> Michael Bay? Uh, no It was uh, I think it may have been like uh, Oh my god Conair The uh, original Suicide Squad Yes Wow Correct. And Isn't still it? better than Suicide Squad Yes yeah, yeah, it is Yeah 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 yeah. And also Let's never forget Connor gave us Leanne Rimes' How do I ever How do I live without I you <laughs> All things <laughs> And also Didn't it give Like no Iris is from City of Angels Yes from yeah. City of Angels My Nicholas Cage has been responsible For some of the greatest yeah. 19 songs of all time mm. Yeah My god He'd give up forever Touch you <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god and Jason Statham we, 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 are we gonna do Nicholas yeah, Cage? No, oh, I don't. Let's, okay, let's cool. Stick let's to the 90s yeah, for we're now. just hopping all over the place. Cool. Give us. Uh, Wait, song. there's one line in uh, Air Force One. Okay. Yeah. The White House staff. He goes. Let's not forget This president has a medal of honor He knows how to fight <laughs> <laughs> So I love It's so uh, And Glenn Close is in that film By the yeah. way uh, Oscar nominated actress of She's in it So funny uh, yeah. Cruella yeah. Uh, So she uh, Nicholas Cage man Oscar winning He's won right uh, for, for Raising Arizona For Raising Arizona Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Man that man, I think he won it early And he's just like Nah, I can do it anyway yeah. <laughs> Sky's the limit Apparently he did one of the best Action film, mil, films of last year Which I was, was Mandy I forget I what seen. movie this is oh, But yeah. I was reading this long thing About like Is Nicolas Cage secretly a genius? Where well, there's one movie <laughs> Where he's shouting at this guy And then he recites the alphabet To yeah. prove a point yeah. A, B, C, D I've never yeah, seen that It's the greatest thing I've ever seen That's my action, man Yeah, yeah, yeah Because he goes up to K And you're like He's not going to go on And he's like L, L. <laughs> There's no I, I don't He th- just Nicholas used to Cage, ham everything No man, he's, just, he's just the most watchable guy Like that's what you want You don't watch mundane people on yeah. screen Like You want to watch mean, something entertaining and I mean, just look at Face Off It's like he's playing <laughs> jazz yeah. Man Face Off yeah. is a deceptively hard role to do Because he's playing John Travolta play his character So it's yeah. like when he uh, when he's in the church and he's dressed up as a priest and he starts headbanging in the yeah. church, it's so funny. And then he grabs uh, the choir girl, like, it's like oh, oh man, my God. dude. My favorite, yeah. but the best scene is, is like, so man, what are you gonna do with and get him? Oh, what's his name? I can't remember in in the movie John R. Arrow or something. I don't know. He's huh. like, what are you gonna do with him? So uh, I'm gonna take his, fa- I'm gonna take his face. Oh. <laughs> and then it was just like everyone's just looking at him like. What? And then he starts laughing. <laughs> and then everyone's just like, he's going to take his face off. Yeah. He's going to take his face off. When, John, yeah. uh, when uh, Nicholas Cage says something, you got you got to fucking agree. By the way, just yeah. a correction. The name of the movie is Face Slash, slash Off. Yeah, yes, correct. It's slash either off. face or off. You got to yes. pick one. <laughs> Man, yeah, he, he's done some some crazy. You were going to talk about the greatest action movie of all time? Was face Off? Yeah, I want to yeah. say Face yeah. Off yeah. is one of the greatest action movies of all time. I think time. Air Force One is second for me. I barely know it's it. Not it's not action, action. You know why? It's the original like time limit on the guy. It's like Die Hard Ultra. 
transport again huh? it is so this is the thing about action films you have to place it in a very a real time setting you can't have an action movie that spans a year or something I like guess. not not as in like at least that yes. was the the signature thing of those they're very like survivor based even like alien or something like that it's very like time bound have you mm-hmm. seen nick of time with johnny depp and chris walken no no oh, shit it's basically what happens chris walken has said you have to assassinate the president in one hour if you don't i'm going to kill your daughter <laughs> oh my basically. god and, i love this yeah. movie <laughs> and they're they're at a shop they're oh at a shopping god. mall and he's like where's my daughter john <laughs> Depp? and then like chris <laughs> walken just gets him in a in a van it's like okay <laughs> i can't do impression yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, it's like it's, it's crazy it's, it's yeah, crazy it's crazy yeah, one hour take his face oh. off <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty high octane Oh man, high octane is the word to yeah, define yeah. these movies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I think there's something really time bound about it. I think that's why Twenty Four worked as a concept. It's literally they were like, remember how they used to make films? We'll make that, except it's a whole day and every hour is an episode, and then Twenty Four episodes. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. A time limit yeah. just gives you stakes, right? It's it's like. It's taking the idea of we have to defuse this bomb. There's a countdown yeah, timer. Correct. and stretching it out into a movie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Which is yeah. great. That, that's how this guy dies in the in uh, what's his name? Jeff Daniels. In Even Speed. Die Hard Two has that uh, <laughs> the the time limit, right? Jeff Daniels. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, the time. Li- so Incredibles Two, very similar ending to Speed Two. Train again. No, a uh, boat. A boat. Yeah. Wait, what happens in Incredibles Two at the end? Precisely. A boat. My point. A boat. A boat. A boat. A yes, boat, you're right. A boat, yeah, yeah. A boat. He he brainwashes everyone. Correct. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. I mean, let's take a break. Okay. okay, I want to talk about the contemporary uh, action films that are blowing my mind and I are, are not as exciting as visceral as that because we live in the world of Avengers and things yeah. like that. So that's always going to be more entertaining in, in many ways. But there's something really awesome about what's happening right now in action. We're going to talk about it on the other side of this break. Cool. Did you know that Parsis in Mumbai, instead of being left at the Tower of Silence after they die, are now cremated? And why? Because a cow fell sick in the early 1990s. Did you know that the smog in Delhi is caused by something that farmers in Punjab do and that there's no way to stop them? Did you know that there wasn't one gas tragedy in Bhopal but three? One of them was seen but two were unseen. Did you know that many well-intentioned government policies hurt the people they're supposed to help? Why was demonetization a bad idea? How should GST have been implemented? Why are all our politicians so corrupt when not all of them are bad people? I'm Amit Verma and in my weekly podcast The Seen and the Unseen I take a shot at answering all these questions and many more I aim to go beyond the scene and show you the unseen effects of public policy and private action I speak to experts on economics political philosophy cognitive neuroscience and constitutional law so that the insights can blow not only my mind but also yours The Seen and the Unseen releases every Monday so do check out the archives and follow the show at seenunseen.in you can also subscribe to The Seen and the Unseen on whatever podcast app you happen to prefer Hey guys we're back uh, this is the Geek Food podcast we're talking about action films mm-hmm. I want to talk about my favorite underrated action film of this recent like uh, I'd say the recent flock of of action movies Tell us The Accountant Oh, oh no. yeah, <laughs> an that was amazing great. film. It got a lot of hate. I don't know how I because people it. are stupid. I mean, exactly. what do I say? I I mean, yeah, you've you've championed this movie for a long time, and I haven't seen it much. I, like John Wick. Here's the other thing about the accountant. It kind of uh, breaks that formula, you know, with that time bound kind of thing about it. Mm-hmm. And this is like a long story. Yeah. Like it's told over many years, yeah. and it's still great action, mm-hmm. and it's got a great ending. What does he have? He has some form of. So uh, basically, he's kind of like a. What does he have? I think he's got like a ad, not an add, but like he's like a socially awkward guy. He's got a spurger. Is he like, like the that. first? I want to say superhero to have like some form of you know he's not a superhero though you know? I, know, like I mean he's, he's just like so basically his uh, yeah. it's a really interesting story where he is raised by like his his only his dad raises both of his kids and they, he raises them really tough and mm-hmm. like you know and he makes sure mm-hmm. that you know they're very like good at like computers or blah blah whatever it is right and so he grows up to be this uh, on the surface he's like so to speak the accountant which is he's like a glorified CA mm-hmm. and he fixes everybody's books but what he does is like he fixes books for like the underworld criminal people and he's also got a set of skills yeah, of course um, and he's basically he was an ex like military guy and um, and so it's, he, it's, it's basically Rain Man but like kind of Rain Man <laughs> but he can beat you up <laughs> yeah Rain Man who can beat you up yeah, yeah. yeah. and he's awesome kind of and Ben Affleck like a superhero dude I he's awesome like he's superhero. awesome and it's got one of the best endings to an action film ever you remember like uh, what I'm talking about yeah it's, it's like, it kind of turns the table on like the whole villain versus 
hero kind of thing. It's an that, amazing that ending. one scene when they're like fighting in the woods outside, and there are these two people that are watching him, and he just sort of takes this, this person out and just looks at the person. And he's like, "All right, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, what's up?" So good. <laughs> so like, so it's good. great, and it, it, yeah, yeah, and Ben Affleck does an excellent job. Uh, I mean. And like you know, I, I told this one has um, J.K. Simmons also in it, and I, I I've kept saying oh, yeah. this that this is like the Batman movie that we needed. Yeah, and it's yeah. got like it's a got Gordon. Similar, it's got Gordon. It's got Batman. Yeah, dude, Ben Affleck, yeah. man, he's he, uh, yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's a good egg. He's good. He's a good egg. Yeah. He's kind good of egg. yeah. <laughs> a cool I mean, uh, of of late, I'd say like he's done some yeah. really good movies like The Town. Have you seen um? Was the town the one? Uh, town was oh, also yeah. him directing. He right? directed yeah. it. Yeah. He's yeah. a great yeah. director, dude. I really think Gone Baby Gone is an underrated movie. Solid movie. And, He's a good director. Uh, another good movie where somebody looks into the camera and goes like, "It's gone, baby, gone." gone. <laughs> yeah. That um, uh, what's also it? Argo. Argo. Solid yeah. man. Argo has got like the time bound situation thing kind down of, to yeah, a yeah, T, yeah. right? Involves another more. If only five more people, that would be an action yeah. movie. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm gonna go a little international. Mm-hmm. The raid. I was gonna talk about the raid. Oh my gosh. Tell so, us about the raid. Have you seen uh, it? Donnie Yen, right? Donnie, no, 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 yeah, Donnie Yen. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, directed by Gareth Edwards. No idea. But the no, guy who did uh, Rogue uh, One, I think. What? Uh, yeah, I, I want to say. No, yes. no, I think it's some. Or something similar. I would assume guy. Gareth Edwards uh, put Donnie Yen in Rogue One because he saw the raid. Ye- oh, maybe that, maybe that way. I'm not sure. But, but tell uh, us about the raid. Though. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly tell you. Oh, yeah, he, he, de- yeah, it was definitely the other way. Man, so he like, Godzilla. the raid, uh, Ip Man <laughs> or Ip Man. Oh no, it's not uh, Donnie Yen, dude. Then it's uh it's another it's a young guy. I can't remember. In the raid. Name. Yeah, in the raid. Oh really? I yeah. thought. Oh, then what's Donnie Yen's thing? Donnie Yen is Ip Man. Ip Man. Ip Man. I've never seen that either. Yeah, I feel like they've used all that uh, yeah. that kind Genre? of movie that I've never really delved so into. I'll that. tell you why the raid is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so raid is like there's no time constraint in the raid. It though. is, of course, it no, is. The whole he, thing is a time situation. Building. Yeah, yeah. But there's no time. Well, there's no time. Yeah. Well, in, in the sense, okay, so basically the, the premise is that there's a colony that is owned by uh, like gangsters. Is right? like a building? I think it's one yeah, big it's, ass it's building. Yeah, it's a full right? colony, yeah. but basically in this movie, they are going to take out the main gangster because all these people are suffering in that area. There's a lot of drugs being peddled. So that whole area of, I don't know where, is just like in ruins because of these guys. And so they send in uh, like a squad team basically and it's led by this one dude. Mm-hmm. And uh, how throughout like them going through floors of the building um, the entire team gets eliminated until it's just this one dude yeah. and it's well, f***ing awesome that's yeah, cool. yeah. It's, it, and so it's basically like, if you think of any daredevil uh, corridor scene it's very inspired Boom. by that yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot actually inspired. that's some old boy old boy also is yeah, kind yeah. of like in the yeah. same kind of uh, vein uh, Dread the movie with had uh, Carl oh, Urban yeah. starring oh. as Judge Dread mm-hmm. uh, completely inspired by yeah, uh, the raid yeah. in fact the whole situation is, again is one building and yeah. he's taking it out but in this movie it's like a mixture of like Kung Fu Like basically martial arts yeah. And like a lot of like Actual yeah. like guns and stuff This is like what a lot of ma- Modern martial arts yeah, movies do right Yeah They're basically like How can we kill this person With like a door handle <laughs> 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 It's like Create a way to Yeah you know, I mean someone like, up. Alien does that really well right How are we gonna kill people in this Or any <laughs> yeah. good slasher films yeah. Like yeah. what's the weirdest way We yeah. can do it yeah. But um uh, in this movie, like he just basically goes through floor on floor on floor, nice. and like yeah. just like just it's like one long people. dance. That's just you know? a killer idea, and it's amazing choreography. Yeah, just like fantastic choreography, and uh, and there's a raid two also the raid yeah. the redemption. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, it boils down to a raid couple of raid two. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Well his, brother is in a build- <laughs> his brother is in in the building, right? He has to rescue. His yeah, brother. he has to rescue his brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's some emotional stakes, and there's this yeah, one I, guy that was called. That's cool, actually. How it's his brother. Like it's not like his his wife or his. You know, it's oh, just literally his brother. You know who's in uh, from the raid? They're in uh, the Force Awakens. Uh, you know the, the the you know when they're after oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the yeah. gang that uh, Harrison Ford meets. Correct. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what's the gang's name. I forget, but uh, I I remember reading that they were from the raid. Yeah. So yeah. both those so guy, bald guy with a mustache. He's like the he's the villain <coughs> in the first raid, and he's he's nicknamed the dog. And like uh, <laughs> and basically they have this insane fight sequence, like and it's just. Man, it's so good. It's like yeah. really good action. Nice. Really, really good action. Martial yeah. arts movies, though. That's uh, a different. Yeah, that's a different completely scene. different. <laughs> but, this, yeah, yeah. but this comes under. I'd say that comes under action slim-o. because it adds yeah. other parts to. Because uh, it's very um, slim like, classy. Yeah. yeah martial <laughs> arts. <laughs> no, it's like, martial arts is actually a lot classier. This is like grimier, but it comes under the action thing because it has that you know the setting of an action from like building, right, yeah, yeah. guns, yeah. police forces. Yeah. Are, yeah. Like, it's. Unlike those oh, Like a Jet Li thing Was basically all martial arts What right? happened yeah. Jet Li? 
He's good, man. He's, he's, he's living his best life, man. I, I'll tell you what. Can I give you the update on Jetli? Yeah. There was a photo that was released of him where he was looking really old, like he's bald and blah blah blah. And everyone's like, "Is Jetli uh-huh. okay?" And the whole internet was like, "Oh my God, what happened to Jetli? Is he dying?" And, and then he punched right? the whole internet. Correct. So yeah. he essentially did that. He put up a photograph saying, you know, basically saying, "Fuck you, I'm fine," and uh, you know, I'm just chilling out with my family. Can you leave me the fuck alone? Yeah. 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 He doesn't have to do a Jackie Chan where Jackie Chan is just like he doesn't what stop. What was that huh? Jackie Chan movie recently? The the, the foreigner. The foreigner. The foreigner. Yeah. yeah. With Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. <laughs> the November Man. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The November Man. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Foreigner in one but movie. You know what's so funny? It's set in Ireland and it's just got like Paddy? Paddy. it's just got Pierce Brosnan giving the no. most ridiculous yeah. Irish. He accent. is Irish. So. Yeah. He's Welsh. He's Welsh, isn't it? No, I think he's Irish. He's Irish? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But it's so fun. It cannot be taken seriously. Go. Uh, hit me. Well, f- you grew up in the UK, man. You can. No, you what can. was that one line? Uh, um, what about the Semtex Paddy? Semtex? What's the Semtex Paddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole movie is him speaking with every iteration ending. <laughs> so everything is up in a question. <laughs> so yeah. weird. Oh, like, man, it's too funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's Jackie a Chan. Movie. Why have, is Jackie Chan not cool anymore? This is this a good movie? I mean, Jackie Chan just won an I, honorary Oscar, so like two years ago. He so was cool, like man. he's awesome, but I don't know. Maybe he's there's this just, movie that came that out. That formula is old, um, maybe with James Franco and Jason Statham. Homefront. What? I think we watched it together. Ah, uh, yeah, I think yeah. What does Jason yeah. Statham even do anymore? Whatever Jason Statham. The Meg. The, the, the Hello. Oh, the Meg. The Meg. Yeah. We saw it. What a weird name for yeah. a we movie saw, about we, a giant shark. We saw it also. Yeah. All right. yeah, yeah. Is, is it? Uh, he as, doesn't know what it wants to be an action yeah. film, comedy. It's just drama. masala, basically. Is it basically the Sharknado? It's uh, no. It's not. It's it's a serious attempt at a film. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Why yeah. is it called the Meg then? And because about the, what, what is the Meg? It's a megalodon. Megalodon. Yeah, megalodon. It's a giant shark. Oh man It's one of those Crossover studio films Like you know It's a Chinese studio And an American studio Doing stuff Like Skyscraper yeah. We can't Okay we gotta talk About The Rock Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Momentarily Yeah how can we not uh, yeah. But yeah man uh, But you know what These Off late Action movies Not many uh, Fist pumps No You know like Skyscraper Skyscraper like, is not a good no... movie You can't ex- expect it To have See the fist pump In rock movies Is The Rock Okay <laughs> You see The Rock <laughs> just one big the, fist pump That's the fist pump You like yeah. If you see The Rock Do or say anything Out of the ordinary mm-hmm. It's a fist pump It's like when he sings uh, That Elvis song To his child In the movie The Game Plan That's a fist pump That's oh, yeah. a rock fist pump <laughs> There you go Okay Correct What about Jumanji 2 Do you guys watch that? Jumanji, Jumanji 2? I didn't like it Or like it. the new Jumanji yeah, I don't know. It's called. Yeah, Jumanji. I did watch that. Yeah. It's. I mean, that's yeah. a. It's not action. It was funny. The fist pump is when yeah. the rock is on screen. I guess. Yeah, there's no man, fist pump okay. happens when there's Can a guy I? who's like not used to action or whatever, and then all of a sudden he becomes another man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Then I, a fist bump I, I will occurs. say there's one gigantic, huge fist pump on its way in the form of the Fast and Furious spinoff. Oh my god! God, Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. And Shaw. I'm oh gonna no. die. Now here's I'm the other thing: they just released an image uh-huh. which has Jason Statham. Yeah. Okay, as f***ing <laughs> Shaw It has Dwayne Johnson As The Rock And has got Idris Elba As Brixton I died I and just you know, died. It's so funny Because she introduces The characters well Before the movies You know like how Character posters used to Come out for films yeah. And you'd be like Oh cool, that's probably A character from the film Is this right. three guys Standing in a triangle formation <laughs> Of course You <laughs> know that I can camera. picture the I can see the poster yeah. In my mind No, the funniest Who's thing Who's in the center though I wanna know is no, it? no, it, it's Brixton at the back, as in Idris at the back, no. uh, and it's just uh, the Rock in this photograph is just like explaining who he is. Okay, and it's so funny. Here we go. All right, <laughs> an exclusive little taste of the biggest showdown the summer has ever seen. First of all, here's the photograph. You guys <laughs> oh, computers in. in the background. All right, and and here's the thing: the outlaw lawman Hobbs, the international spy Shaw, the baddest bad guy the Fast and Furious franchise has ever seen, Brixton. We're either gonna get along or we get it on. I <laughs> what love it. That's a great getting line. along, getting it on has been way more fun. Who says this? This is all in the caption, dude. Oh my this god! This is all yeah. in the I, Rock's caption. He is he's the yeah. Taylor voice in his own f***ing Instagram. Amazing, amazing. Oh my god, I'm just gonna die when I see that film. I'm yeah, gonna call a thing out. Jason Statham, The Rock, Vin Diesel, are modern action heroes all bald? Is that a thing? You know, you you look a little. Is like, it a Bruce tougher Willis if you're thing? bald, right? I guess yeah, so. maybe because you, you can like headbutt someone and like <laughs> probably. But like I mean, is, it a, is it a buff thing? 
They're, they're all if you're buff, buff, buff when, and they're when you go bald, you go buff, right? That's the, the okay, natural I, I'll tell you one of my favorite action heroes right now, like Chris Evans, okay? As Captain America. Mm-hmm. I think he's brilliant. He's doing really action good. hero purely. He's effing Captain America. Have you seen the first sequence Not of Winter Soldier? Not by our straight up action rules. Like Vin Diesel, yes. Chris Evans, Once again, no. Vin Diesel is not a very action Chris Evans is also guy. a great actor. Vin Diesel. He's done good stuff. Vin Diesel can't do stunts. Okay, so I've Tom Cruise. Any of the okay, past Tom Cruise has so. hair. Does all his stunts. Vin Diesel's Groot, isn't it? And uh, he's the Iron Giant, dude. Best his best performance. Fast and Furious <laughs> is action, Superman. right? Superman. Yeah. Great. Fast done. and Furious so, is action. Films. Fast and Furious is action. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've not yeah. seen any. Oh man. So like the qualifier I'm putting on it is they've got to be known for doing only straight up action movies. That's not Chris Evans. Yeah, but my point is that he's got a hair. <laughs> <laughs> but straight hair, up hair, action hair, like your testosterone straight up action guys, maybe they need to be okay, more. You know, what you know about who, Keanu Reeves? Do you know who'd be a really good he's action, action yeah. star? Yeah. Oscar Isaac. I think he'd be great. Yeah, he's in good. Action world. He should be Bond. You're gonna kill me with yeah. his sexy or, eyes. Or a Batman. He should be Batman, sorry. Yeah. I take that back. He should yeah. be Batman. He could be Batman. Yeah. 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 The thing is, Oscar Isaac's eyes are so distinctively, like, sexy. You could see them through the mask and go like, oh yeah, hey yeah. Oscar. He's like, it's like <laughs> Batman who will give you like a, like a, like a smoldering <laughs> look, like a, <laughs> like a, hmm? and you're just yeah. like, oh, and then, where, <laughs> yeah. where were the drugs going? Yeah. Yeah. And then Batman would just be like, hey, <laughs> you'd be like, hey, yeah. Uh, you want to get out of here? <laughs> his I'm Batman is his pickup line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm Batman. <laughs> Should do it later on. No, but um, yeah, man. Uh, I, I, yeah. You want to come back to my back cave? Yeah. yeah. I, I think uh, I think uh, uh, it's a buff thing that you know. One is they have terrible hair genes, yeah. and, and the other thing is, yeah, you're right. Maybe it's a it's a buff thing. Testosterone does lead to balding, I believe. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. The the, no, the hormone also when, when for balding start is losing, testosterone, right? When dudes start losing their hair, they get buff because you know it's like a yeah, and they and grow a beard. Yeah, true. But uh, Idris has hair, man. Like he can grow. Idris he has can hair. hair. He can grow hair. Yeah, he can grow hair. Yeah. But uh, he's not an action star either, right? He is. Well, I mean, no, not by the rules uh, I've defined here. He's a. F- no, straight up cool dude. He's a great actor. Bonafide. He's Lou for your string of bell. He's a he's great a actor first. He's a dramatic actor. Yeah. Yeah. But he just happens to be buff. Yeah. He's also a DJ and a rapper. He's, he's, he's on the Coachella lineup. <laughs> In, <laughs> like Will Smith's uh, album with Jazzy Jeff is called I'm the DJ, He's the Rapper. In Idris Elba's case, he's both. <laughs> yeah, dude, one second. <laughs> Uh, Will Smith Yeah I was just gonna say Action iRobot star. is sci-fi though iRobot I am legend uh, is also sci-fi I am legend He was bad an action boys. guy at one point right? Bad Boys Bad Boys 2 Independence Day Independence Day I remember when oh, Hitch yeah. came That's out That's all sci-fi like, That's all sci-fi Welcome to Earth Independence Day is sci-fi Sure uh, Bad Boys is action right Straight out action Oh yeah that's straight out Action yeah. comedy And now Bad Boys 3 is coming yeah, out as well yeah, yeah. Because he did, He's a lot like Arnold like He did the MIB The more slightly You know yeah. After Earth mm. After Earth <laughs> it's like, I remember when Hitch came out People were like Wow Will Smith is in a romantic comedy He's gonna mm. be so likable And I was like He was always It's like Will Smith was always in romantic comedies Even when he was in an action yeah, movie Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a, We are the We are the, <laughs> the Romantic leader <laughs> We are the ones Fun and love <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man Will Smith as well Man there are tons of these guys no? yeah, yeah So many I, I feel like we've missed a bunch probably. We have to like, mention uh, We didn't even actually talk about Vin Diesel We just brought him up Because he was born You know I don't like Vin Diesel I don't. I only like. Uh, I, I like the Chronicles of like the the first one. Pitch the Black. Chronicles of Riddick. Oh, oh yeah, Pitch Black. Black yeah. Pitch Black was cool. What about you know, uh, Triple X? Guns, no, girls. Never, not, a, yeah, not a fan of those uh, films. Deepika Padukone. No, you don't not like guns? Fan. You know. Uh, you don't like girls? Uh, you don't like global domination? Oh, global domination. Sure. Yeah. No, but my, my three favorite about, things. My thing yeah. about Vin Diesel is that I don't think he does any of his stunts. And I think he's a fat guy. And <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's buff, by the way. The Rock I think he's did like, call uh, him a candy ass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Vin Diesel's like he's the other guy who's like everything's about family. Yeah, family. <laughs> my my favorite two roles of his have been roles in which he's only said one word and he's not on screen, which is Iron Giant and Groot. Both of them, yeah. <laughs> z- like barely any dialogue. So what's the appeal there? I don't understand. Why I is Vin Diesel? He's he, he's niche, a producer, dude. right? He's the producer of the Fast and Furious films. Is, is that he? it? I don't know. I mean, how the hell else? Is that one of those credits where you know he's the producer because he's been in the franchise long enough? Oh, I, yeah, I don't yeah. think he actually does. He's stuff. just like I know what I'm doing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't he's, know. he's all about the family. I think I have to mention a I film which is an ode to action films, which is Hot Fuzz. Oh, that's Hot a straight Fuzz up. is a great. Yeah, but I it's, mean, it's like it's a comedy. comedy yeah. It's a comedy, but it's, on it's built on the back of action yeah, films. Yeah, on right? that very specific kind of cop. There's that scene film, in the right? film where they're watching. Uh, which movie are they watching? Uh, with Keanu Reeves in Hot Fuzz. 
They come home drunk at like 3 a.m. Speed, yeah, yeah. Not speed. Oh, not speed. What film was it? Some punchy type. Movie. And he looks up and he shoots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. Man, uh, that's a good movie. I still think that's yeah, still part of the comedy yeah. situation package. Man, I still think that yeah, Keanu Reeves is still holding the the torch. Mm-hmm. As no. you will find out when you watch John Wick. I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. gonna binge one and two, and then we'll go watch Parabellum. Okay. It's uh, Equilibrium, a sci-fi film. It is a sci-fi. It's awesome. And yeah. neither of you. No, you've seen it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you talked about it extensively it. on the show. Yeah, we you? love that that movie. It's Gun Fu. Gun Fu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of like the raid, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yes, but it's in a future. Maybe we should turn this into a franchise as well and come back and do martial arts properly. Because has I there mean, ever been like a period film action? Flick. Yeah, I'm sure there the last has samurai. been like mm, okay war mm. film, war film. Yeah, uh, if it's three hundred war film, uh, they're all war films if they're going to be period pieces. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, because wha- who's like war cool right you know, now? Like is was nobody taking people's daughters in the yeah, history times? I'm sure there's more of that. <laughs> uh, isn't uh, like Rashomon kind of like no Rashomon? No, no, Rashomon's not really action. It's more the storytelling, I suppose. Of that. Yeah, and I mean, there's like one. Violent thing that happens I think we should Put it out to the listeners Kill Bill <laughs> Is yeah, a great action movie Yeah but I feel like Tarantino's got his own thing Going on I'm I was not, gonna not say a yeah. I'm not a fan of Tarantino No I'm I, he, Neither am I I only I'm like mixed, two of his films. I really like Kill Bill though. I love Kill Bill And I love Inglourious And I think that's about it I, I also yeah. like Reservoir Dogs uh, Pulp Fiction I'm not As oh big my a fan God, of so big. Which is one where they're In his latest one uh, when they're Hateful Eight yeah. Hateful Eight So I fell asleep because it's really it. long But I don't it's mind I wouldn't mind watching it again Because yeah. that's something going on but like, yeah. I, like, I like Django was, fine But it was nothing Like Django after he made okay. Inglourious He can't top that but Inglourious is great It's his best film Some new film coming up With him and uh, Brad Pitt And Leonardo this, DiCaprio I right? thought he's doing The Star Trek film now No no What? It, no It's some Brad What's Pitt And Leo film I have never heard of this what? So, okay. Oh maybe, yeah, he said that he was. wanted to do the Star Trek film. All right, cool. We're gonna leave it out to the listeners. Uh, what do you guys think is uh, an action franchise or action movies or action stars that we have f- failed to mention in this episode? There must Please be let quite us a know. few, and they're all coming to beat us up. Yes. <laughs> well, we can have another. We can have a part two. What's an action film without a part two? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Fugitive. Uh, US Marshals It exists Come on guys Alright So that's our episode uh, You know Find us on Facebook um, uh, Instagram Or Twitter or At Geekfruit HQ You can also mail us Contact Geekfruit uh, At gmail.com uh, Mail us uh, some stuff And uh, Join our Facebook group Join our Facebook group It's called All your nerds Are belong to us mm-hmm. Don't ask us why It's a long old joke um, We'll but, explain it If you join the group Yes that's true And we're posting some cool stuff From the episodes On that group So, so join us there And uh, Yeah We'll see you later you nuts goodbye family businesses get a bad rap at one time they were looked down on for getting rich for being too ambitious today they're still looked down on but for not being ambitious enough not agile enough not modern enough too traditional in their mindset the biggest brands and business houses in the country started out as humble family businesses it's the way india has done business Join Sonu Basin in conversation with stalwarts of Indian family businesses on the Inheritors podcast series by Bloomberg Quint. Discuss the highs and lows, the needs and pressure points of building a business legacy that spans generations. How many times have you motivated yourself to improve your sleep or lose weight or be more productive? How many times have you failed? Hi, my name is Ashtin Doctor. Tune into my show The Habit Coach Podcast. where we focus on creating small tiny habits to improve your life instead of those big impossible tasks so make listening to me a habit every monday wednesday and friday on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com or on your favorite podcasting app